Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode here on Passy. Just kidding. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for coming back again. It is so nice to see you. We're going to be playing some Pinball FX3. <laughs> yes. Uh, pinball games. I, I miss being able to go in an arcade and play pinball games. There's, there's, there's kind of, there, is a, there is an aesthetic. There's actually a feel to a mechanical pinball game. But... To be honest, Zen have actually always been like this is this is their bread and butter. Zen Studios has been doing pinball games for so damn long that they've got the experience down, and it's got digital pinball games have come a long, long way since that one. Like it was actually was it Space Attack on the old Windows systems? It's come a long way since then, man. So maybe we can just enjoy it for a moment. Oh, I thought you were going to say the whole thing. Home of the best pinball community in the world. Are you new to pinball? How about a short guide to familiarize yourself with the game controls? Nah, I'm okay. Many of the tables you already own are available for free import. Okay, that's interesting. So they're actually they're doing this whole kind of like make it a platform thing, and then I seem to remember them doing it a fair bit back in the day, where there's like you buy the Zen pinball thing. It was like the game was free, and then you bought the tables. So as a Zen Pinball 2 or Star Wars Pinball owner, you can import most of your tables you already have for free. Enjoy the classic tables with new multiplayer matchup modes, stunning real-time lighting, cutting-edge visuals, and more for free. You will also find brand new exclusive content for Pinball FX3. Yeah, sure, import. Oh, uh, God. Patching, 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 always forever patching, patching games we don't need, oh my. Oh, we have to wait for the patch to come down, and we don't know how long it's going to be. Maybe it should get into the game right now. Ah. Yeah, update now. <laughs> that I, 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 are, are we going? <sighs> Man, literally, uh, that's that's two day a row. Actually, with Zen games, we actually did what we had the exact same problem happen with the Zen uh, Infinite Golf or Infinite Mini Golf, but it does, obviously it doesn't take long. It's a small patch, but annoying. Is it? <sighs> I mean, I do miss the days whenever you just got a game and you played it and it ran and that was it. It went gold. But now we've got all these other things. Uh, I do have a Zen account. So, did the link okay? Yeah, it did. Sweet. It's good for you. Um, this is a single player. What is in my collection? Uh, it's just the fact that we've got... Oh, look at this. Right, so there's actually like improved leveling and stuff in this now. I'm actually, I'm curious to see what exactly is going on with the Zen series where like they've managed to take pinball and turn it into an RPG-esque kind of experience. I'm going like, do you know what actually, if you manage to do that, you can make that, you can actually get me interested in pinball a lot more than you did previously. I mean, Sonic Spinball kind of ruined pinball for me for most of my life. It was, it was a bad game if you never played it. It's a bad game. What is this? It's trying to do the import now. No tables to be found? No! Oh, that's right. My Zen Pinball would be on another account. Uh, see, I get ya, I get ya. I've uh, been upgraded with a ton of exciting new features and amazing, awesome new multiplayer modes. Each table now has three brand new challenge modes, upgrades, and wizard powers. Level up! And Level up! Table. Put your pinball wizardry skills to use against other players in the pinball FX3. Puts the power okay. straight into the action. Okay. So, obviously, we've only got one table out of 68 that we can play. Damn! Wow. That is actually a pretty... Wow. <laughs> Holy shit, okay. So they really have like they they are they have combined all of their tables into one long ass list. So if you don't already own these, can you buy them? I like the fact that there's aliens AVP and alien isolation. I don't even remember those being on PS3. So I'm assuming they're actually like taking this to combine. That's a lot of Marvel tables, man. I'm curious, right, so what can you do with these marble tables? How do you actually get them? Oh, they've got packs. Yes, of course they got packs. 
So, what's in the bundles? Wow. <laughs> That's a, they, they have kind of covered themselves by a lot of ways. That's the thing, it doesn't even list all the tables on it. It doesn't list things like the Walking Dead, where you've probably, you've had to have bought them on a previous version of the game. I'm doing this, I'm not buying the, I'm not buying this actual pack. I'm taking a look to see what it costs, because I'm actually honestly curious. So, packs of about 20 quid. Yeah, yeah. Yes, indeed. Yeah. Anyway, we're going to play the one table that we have access to. Hello. Dude, can, can we actually open these? Back to the future. Yes! Marty! We need to go back! Back to the future! Um, we can play a trial game. Alright, cool. That works for me. Back to, uh, just for the fact that actually, they actually made a Back to the Future table. I am on board with that. Out of all the ones that are there, it's the one that I find most interesting. Hey! Wow! <laughs> actually, I really do like this table. This table looks kind of cool. Do, 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 do. You know that's not the Back to the Future theme, though, right? Input the destination time, 1955. All right, we only got a minute 30 to play this. Okay, bring it on. If you're gonna shoot the ball, why not do it with some skill? Ah! That was fast. Say a word. Ah, come on. This is heavy. <laughs> that is a really awful, awful play from me. Yeah, we only have 44 seconds left, man. Let, 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 let's rock and roll this. Whoa, whoa, Biff. What's that? Oh, God damn it. <laughs> This is awful sounding music doesn't really sound like what it's meant to meant to play, but it tries to sound like it and we'll not really question it. That's not right. Time is up! No! No, I, I really, I really will not pay for that in any way, shape, or form. No, it's a little touches like that that actually would. I mean, if, if they just, if they just got the license for the music, I would be fine. But it's like it's too incongruous for me to actually enjoy. Um, single player and hot seat. Like, we'll just single player this now. Single player and hot seat. Oh, classic single player. Uh, hot seat for your friends. Mmm, very good. I'm just gonna single player this. Right, so we're going to single player the actual only uh, one that's available in the actual uh, FX3 demo. Creepy house. To the sorcerer's lair. Really hard to tell where that ball is going to be coming from. Ah, oh, come on! Leaving so soon. Leaving so soon. <laughs> Oh, come on. Take my hand. Seriously? Come on. Ah! Leaving so 
soon. That was an awful like I was actually starting to make progress there too. What? Uh -oh. There's a secret door here. <sighs> you serious? Hey, Whisper. Extra ball is lit. I don't see Whisper anywhere. I don't know who Whisper is, but apparently that's important. Alright, it's just like the intensity that you get whenever you're playing a pinball game is going like, I do not want to lose this ball! Boom! We got it again. Alright, different game. Shit. Okay. Ah! No! So difficult! That was so annoying. Ah, literally, the, I won the points and then actually immediately dropped the ball. Oh, you suck. <laughs> um, unfair, bouncy, bollocks. <laughs> Unfair bounce. That's all we're getting. You have leveled up an upgrade of this table. Upgrade for this table. Master this table by completing all of its challenges, earning all of its trophies, and maxing out its upgrades and wizard powers. Distance bonus unlocked. Uh, bumper score bonus unlocked. So you actually increase. All right, and it gives you an increase to your upgrades. You can slot. Up right. So you slot that one in. You slot that one in. And you unlock those by reaching. All right. So there's challenges specifically to unlock them. So by getting really good at it, you can make it easier. That's essentially what the rule of thumb for this is. Uh, 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 <laughs> it's like it's just the, one, the kind of thing that make me feel horrible about actually playing pinball games. I was just doing this to relax, man. Now I've got challenges to meet. I got cheese to play. So yeah, let's exit the single player here. There is obviously challenges and other materials to go through. A guide for the table to actually show you what things you can do in it. Um, we haven't got any of the other tables to actually try out here, even though you can see a multitude of them sitting there. Matchups online, tournaments. I'm going to take a look to see what kind of tournaments are actually on. There actually is tournaments. So there's tournament play for most of the games here and then actually all the ones that are actually involved in it so if you really really get into your pinball this is actually this is a little bit this is a lot more in depth than i actually thought it would be that's actually kind of impressive i like that hey i'm 1200th 891st uh, so yeah everything else is actually um adjustable i suppose 
Ah, right. <laughs> He's in the John Williams music. Right. Okay. So it actually defaults with the music off. Maybe do. Oh, okay. All right. So I need to actually go and try this out now. And I know I'm going to get into trouble for this just because the fact it's literally there. The express purposes of people who want to stream. But now I need to play the Back to the Future one because if it isn't, if that was intentionally not the Back to the Future music, that's actually so much more impressive. And I'm really on board with that. I absolutely like that. Um, Control. Yeah, yeah, we already got everything here that we need. Um, Legal resources. Settings. No. Power. Audio. <laughs> Settings. Press it, press it, press it. Uh, I was curious, I thought that was actually to turn off people taking kind of information from me, but um, yeah. We'll take a look here. License music on. <coughs> we need to go back and we need to give it another try. That, that, that's what it comes down to. It's just the fact that... Um... Back to the future! No, back to the future! Marty, we gotta do this! Marty, we gotta test it to find out if the music's right! Bam, ba 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 No! The destination time. Come on! She's like, that's literally the only reason why I was going to be doing this. 2015, 1985 alternative. 1955 part two. 1885, 1985, 1955, 2015, 1985 alternative. This is kind of cool. So you actually are going through each of the different years in the tables. Nice. Okay, I'm on board with us. Actually, like, I'm just realizing, like, I'm actually a lot more than I was because of the fact that it does all the different movies time periods. No. No. This can't be happening. I'm afraid it is happening, Marty. All of it. Oh, I'm actually enjoying it. It's just how quickly I get into these kind of pinball games. Ah! Oh! <laughs> Damn it. This is heavy. <sighs> McFly! Alright, so I've only got 10 seconds left of this before it actually like launches me again, so. <laughs> I'm up! So yeah, the music isn't actually, uh, it said it was going to be music and I'm assuming it's actually going to be on particular tables that it actually does the licensed music on. Um, so I was curious to know whether or not they actually had like all the movies going like, if that was actually the reason why I was complaining about it. I had to give it its good clear way, but no, there, the music actually isn't. <laughs> it, isn't the, it isn't the original music from Back to the Future that's actually in that. So yeah, Bibble FX3. Um, I actually had a lot more fun with that than I originally expected. and. They've really expanded the concept of a pinball table game on a con well, not even just on a console, but actually a digital pinball table. Uh, they've actually tried to increase all the other reasons why you might want to be playing this on a regular basis with friends, against friends, either with or in other locations. And I, I, there's a couple of games I played in the past that actually had taken original tables and converted them to being uh, digital tables uh, and just and just for you to play through and actually be able to witness. Uh, for historical purposes almost, I think it was. I can't remember what the name of the pinball game it was, but I don't think it was Zen. But as Zen, obviously, you go for these full-on digital uh, CG animations and built up kind of like changing locations for it. It really does remind me of Sonic Spinball, but in the good way. So Pinball FX3, you get my thumbs up, actually. Like, I'm not, I'm not offended by this in any way, shape, or form. Admittedly, the music's kind of garbage. But outside of that, uh, I could probably sit and play half of these four good for yours just the fact that kind of relax with and if you get into the whole idea of being able to level up your character and you can really get into the uh, the focus of a pinball game then this is probably perfect podcast fodder if you think about it you put on a podcast in the background you sit and play pinball for the next hour and a half while you're listening to it shit yeah man that's a, that that is your time sink filled so um because it's such simple controls as well you just kind of just yeah, you fill it fit into it you just 
chill out and do it. So, uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. If you actually enjoyed this, make sure to hit the like, comment, subscribe, and all those other things. And comment underneath as to you what you thought about playing ball digital. Is it do you, Are you a purist? Do you, do you want to be playing an actual table, or do you actually not mind being on a digital realm? So, uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. If you happen to be watching this on YouTube, there'll be a button up there I'd really like you to press. Uh, over here will be the most recent playlist of cold opens and other things I've looked at here on the channel. Over there will be the most recent video on the channel. And uh, right here will be a video just for you, based on the user analytics and the things that you actually wanted. The uh, things you look at, the things you search for, the things you find. It'll actually pick a video that I've made that you should enjoy, so I highly recommend you pick that one. That is one worth watching that you will enjoy the hell out of. But thank you very much for watching, and I will see all you dudes in the next video. Bye.